in, in a particular country, in, let's say Nigeria, to an international organization, because your issues of evaluation is international. Do they really keep to the laws of that country? Even if the laws of that country uh, is not up to the level that it should be, do they have that conscience to say, okay, let us do what we know that is, um, that is equal, what is known that is of, uh, internationally acceptable, you know? And how do we even support them to comply, you know, uh, based as on individual levels, and when you find yourself uh, being a, a regulator, you know, or uh, even if you're not, when you find yourself as a business man or a woman in that sector. So we have technological and knowledge gaps, yeah? Because you have to, it's when you know, like what you know that you're able to, know, like when you know it, you know that oh, it, it's not really being uh, taken well taken care of or, 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 or so. So there is, what you're doing here today is very, very good. There is need for us to have, you know, huge knowledge, and wide, widespread knowledge on what is happening in the, in the, in the area. Next, please, precautionary principles. Precautionary principles as it stands, you know, you normally will tell you that take care, be careful in doing this. You know, so if we must really take precautionary principles, we have to now avoid. We can now say, oh, we are not, uh, we are not getting Nigeria is not getting interested in deep sea mining. But you know, this deep mining is already happening in a way. It depends on how you look at it, because even uh, exploration of oil is also tapping with deep. So it's deep sea mining. <laughs> so and. Uh, with the United Nations recent law, the area beyond national jurisdiction, I'm sure you're conversant with that, you, or you read about it and you follow it more. They now come up with a, 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 a law, yeah, an instrument, legal, legal instrument that is binding, is so binding that areas beyond national jurisdiction, as it was called in the past, means Area, area of common that nobody knows it. That's why any country can come to after our EEC to, uh, to carry out activities and eventually leave the waste for us there because it belongs to nobody. So the United Nations has, uh, the Assembly has graciously now said that these areas, they belong to the adjacent states. So Nigeria is now the owner of the so-called area beyond national jurisdiction in the past, the offshore. Nigeria's offshore belongs to it now by the fact of any, any adjacent area of the sea, of the offshore by Nigeria, it's now Nigerian property. You know, and Nigeria, we also know that we got our uh, economic zone extended. Are you aware of that? Yes, yes. Okay. So, all those things are very, very important in the conversation. We have to always follow those things. Mm -hmm. So, if we now say that, oh, we are not getting involved, and we say, like, uh, I'm sorry, I'm putting a fast environment, I'm not even a fast one. We say that, uh, <laughs> that the truth is not in us. You understand? We don't, we are deceiving ourselves and the truth is not in us because if you are not getting interested, people are getting interested. So the best thing is to join the conversation. And when we join the conversation, we'll be able to now negotiate how we should be. They will know that you are aware, so it can't be taken for granted. You know, they will know that you are aware, you are watching. So nobody can come and explore and dump waste for us whatever. He said we enter into serious agreements. So this is, how it's going to be. Though United Nations is still planning how the sharing formula should be. You know, benefits that will come from here. How will the sharing formula be? Should it be like the last meeting we went for, we are discussing uh, uh, by the side anyway, the way they say, that uh, oh, we have to make it. Should it be like how could 